the Bell V247 Vigilant is the Bell helicopter entry to satisfy the needs identified in the 2016 aviation plan. The aviation plan identified seven capability gaps for the MAGTAF unmanned expeditionary capabilities. Currently, the V247 is designed to travel 450 nautical miles mission radius to stay on station 11 hours and to carry 600 pounds of payload, but that is only one point on the curve. It can go out to a further distance of almost 1,500 nautical miles mission radius or stay on station at zero nautical miles mission radius for 17 hours. The Bell V247 has a modular mission payload bay that is designed to use common interfaces and open architecture in order to integrate a vast number of different types of payloads. Those payloads can be a, a combination of different types of weapons and sensors. Um, the, the aircraft would be used for the U.S. Marine Corps, both um, shipboard and land-based? Yes, the aircraft is designed to have blade-fold wing stow, which enables it to be hangered on a DDG-sized aircraft. It can also be ship-based on an LHD. This ability to have a small footprint also means that it can be expeditionary, and it is also runway independent. Uh, what's this radius of operations? So the, the radius of operations, mission radius, our objective mission radius is 450 nautical miles, or it can travel 1,500 nautical miles out and back, or it can stay 17 hours on station at a zero nautical mile mission radius. Can you tell us a bit more about its uh, mission, multi-mission capability from I-STAR to direct attack? The aircraft has uh, the ability to carry electrical optical system, a targeting system, and a radar as a basic air aircraft equipment. It also has a capability to integrate a number of different payloads, including surface scan radars, LIDARs, or whatever the mission may require. It also is capable of carrying air-to-ground missiles, air-to-air -air missiles, and different types of uh, ordinances and payloads. I understand some of the technology is from the Valor, which you're also producing. Yes, we have leveraged a number of different technologies from the Valor to design the aircraft for manufacturability and, and producibility. This enables the aircraft to meet a lower target entry cost. Uh, can you say anything about the development from, um, from now on? Well, currently the requirement, from what we understand, is has either just gone through the JROC or is currently going through the JROC process, and that's for the ICD for the MUX, uh, MUX aircraft. Uh, once that aircraft is defined, we'll be able to reevaluate our design to make sure that it meets the requirements set forth in the ICD, and then we would look forward to competing for the MUX UAS.